Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I think you can probably see by what's here on my desk what we're going to be doing today. It's been a long time since I've done any altered playing cards, and I just was going through my stash the other day, and I found this deck. I started playing around with this when I first got back into um, crafting here in the RV because it was something very small that I could just, you know, had no problem for storage and I could carry around with me. And then, of course, you know, you get distracted with other things. So I want to just go back to this today and play around with um, altering one of these. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So let's just jump in. I've gathered up a few things for time's sake again. Um, this is uh, the pattern paper that you can get in the sewing patterns, or tissue paper from sewing. And I like to just start to tone that the card down. I like to start layering these. So I'm going to just get going with this. And then if these are going to go into a journal, I um, will back them with coffee or tea dyed paper. But um, I won't probably do that step right now because I don't know if I will. This may just go on my... I've got a book ring that I've started collecting my altered playing cards on. So so this just may never make it into a journal. I don't know. So, But if it does, I'll, I'll back it at that time. And I would probably, if I back it, I would probably stitch it as well. But I won't do that for time's sake here because... Um, <clears throat> I've got the sewing machine packed away now because we're we're getting ready to head out in a couple of days. We're starting the journey back home. All right, so you can see some of that came off, but that's okay because I'm actually going to go over this again. Now you could use Mod Podge, Mod Podge or your um, matte gel. I just don't have it handy. <laughs> Uh, but I want to take now some of the plain and I'm actually just going to kind of crumble this up and lay this over it. And I'm going to keep some of the wrinkles in it this time because it just adds extra texture. Okay, so that you can see it just gives it a little bit more interest there. And then at this point you could go over it with, with the Mod Podge or your gel again. I'm not going to bother. Like I said, um, it's just not, <clears throat> I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. Um, it's not necessary, but if you want to, you certainly can. Okay, so I have dug around, and gosh, I bought this. This was some drawer liner I picked up probably five years ago at the flea market. And I just think that's just such a pretty image. I'm just going to take a bit of this and uh, add on here as well. Because I want this to be really uh, neutral. Neutral. 
Okay, so this one I'm now going to switch over to this glue. <clears throat> so it's really early here. Um, the temperature is really nice at the moment, so I am enjoying that. And we're going to get the restrooms done. And then I am going to shoot off and do some laundry ready for our journey back home. I don't like to start off with dirty clothes and uh, and do a grocery shop today and then uh, hopefully get all of that before it gets too bad. And then we've got a few campers to check in today. Okay, so you can see how that's looking so far. You can still tell that this was a card, um, a playing card, which, like I said, for me, I just like to make sure. I don't like to cover everything completely because then you don't know that it, it was a playing card when it started out. So, I don't know. That's just my, my thing. You might feel different about that. I'm going to stencil a little bit. I love the stencil. Um... I just think it's it's got a really nice pattern to it. And I'm just going to do a little bit. I don't want it to be too too much. <clears throat> and then the other thing I've pulled out of my stash because if it's buried, I just seem to forget about things. I forgot I had purchased these. Um, I don't remember who, what brand. The chances are it was a Hobby Lobby. Maybe it was Tim Holtz. I don't remember. But they're little metal plates, and I just think they're so cool. Um, again, more of this ephemera from the Tim Holtz um, field notes. I just am not using it like I thought I would. And then I got a stamped image here. Now the first thing I know is I want to get this unraveled. And I'm going to trim a little bit more of the fabric off here. It's a bit too much of it. So it's in storage. And again, if things aren't right in front of me, I just tend to forget about them. So I'm just going to try to be conscious of that and start using these. So these are just little pieces, and I'm hoping I can work with them, but I may end up having to do something completely different. You can see, I mean, just taking the time to fray that, it just changes the way the whole thing looks. And um, I really like that. All right, so I don't want to cover the eight. That's, that's an absolute. I know I want to keep that there. I may still have to trim. I think I still have to trim a bit more of this fabric on this side, unfortunately just to make that work. Yeah, that's better. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, I don't know. My nose is really going here now. All right. I don't want to cover up too much. And, I don't know, in the end I might not even want this. I 
Okay, so that's really the only color other than that little bit of um, the drawer liner. And I don't know, I'm, I still, I don't know if I'm going to do that. So it's the Inspire or Create. Mm, I think I'm going to go with this one. And now I'm starting to wonder, really, if I place this just a little bit different, I might now actually... Hmm. I don't know if I'm getting too much. I like the position of that. It's just whether I need this or not. It's very fiddly. There. I think that's yeah that's the way I'm going to do it so okay so let's let me get this down because everything keeps shifting and I'm it's making it difficult but I think that's the way I want to to do it I'll tell you what, I'll put, I've got some of this linen thread. I'm just going to put a little bit of that under this.
and there it is. <coughs> you can see how quick and easy that is. Um, and it's used up a lot of the little things that I've been trying to do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, what, you know, if you enjoy altering playing cards, uh, I'd like to know what everybody's up to. So and take care, and I will see you guys soon.